Peplink has been supporting eSIM for some time now, but they now have incorporated support for any third-party eSIM. This support means that users can obtain services directly from Peplink or other providers, depending on their preference. First, do even active care plan and control to account firmware 8.4.0 or newer and a router with an integrated eSIM. In order to verify if your router supports eSIM, just check the cellular WAN details from InControl. See under the Speed Fusion Connect 5G slash LTE and you should see a SIM ICC ID number listed. Next, you'll need to purchase your eSIM data plan. Once you have this, you should receive information from the carrier like the access point name or AP and for short. This will be needed before moving forward. When ready, navigate to the device level in and control 2. Find the settings tab and select device tools from the drop down. From the command drop down, select the eSIM activation option. You can then either click scan to enter the eSIM code automatically or enter it manually. Click submit when done. These next steps are done from the web admin of the Peplink router. This can either be done locally or through in controls remote web admin option, which we're doing here. Once at the web admin, click the cellular WAN to access its settings. Within the cellular settings, you should see a BYOE SIM option. Make sure this option is selected. At the bottom of the cellular settings heading, find the scroll bar and move it all the way to the right. There you will need to enable roaming for any multi-carrier SIMs. Then select custom for the operator settings and enter the APN for the eSIM profile. Finally, scroll to the bottom of the cellular settings and click save and apply. You're now ready to connect through your eSIM. We hope you found this video helpful and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.